Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're already a subscriber and welcome if you're new here. My name is Natasha Bilasaka and I speak about everything from LinkedIn to lead generation to entrepreneurship on this channel. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe and turn post notifications on if you want to get new alerts when I upload a new video. Now, today I come with a very important, highly requested video, which is how I generate leads using Sales Navigator and how I actually convert those leads into paying clients using a secret tool, which I have never mentioned to you guys before. It's actually something that I use personally and that I use with my paying clients. The main reason that I don't speak about everything I do on my channel is just because if people do it in the wrong way and they start using these methods that I teach in terms of outreach, it becomes oversaturated in a bad way. So everyone starts doing the same thing, sending the same messages, but they're not doing it correctly and then it just brings down the trust in our prospects. So that's why I keep a lot of stuff close to my chest. But this tool, I'm gonna to share this with you. It's not super complicated. It's very, very easy and straightforward to use. Now, the first thing I wanna mention is when it comes to lead generation, there are three very important stages that we need to consider. And those three stages are awareness, consideration and conversion. Now today I want to mainly focus on awareness and consideration. Um, when it comes to awareness, there are two main ways that this tends to happen. The first way is inbound marketing and the second way is outbound. Now, if you've watched a lot of my content, you'll know that I speak a lot about inbound, um, but today I do wanna to focus on outbound more. And before I get into that, let me just explain the difference. So inbound marketing versus outbound marketing outbound marketing is where you go and push a message to a large audience so you're being the active one where you're going out and maybe sharing pieces of content or you're messaging somebody directly and saying hey this is me this is what i do this is my product or service are you interested not in that way never do it like that but that's kind of like the gist of it and then when it comes to inbound marketing Think about your brand or your company being magnetic and attracting your ideal prospects. So inbound is when people are coming to you and saying, hey, um, I saw this piece of content, I just engaged with it, I wanna know more about what you do, please can we jump on a call? That's more inbound. Now, both are super powerful, but the best way to use these strategies is by combining the two and setting up your content strategy and your brand in a way that attracts clients, so via inbound marketing, but also making sure that you've got that tap of leads that you can switch on and off, where you can say, okay, if I'm having a month where my inbound lead flow is kind of low, let me go and do some outbound and make sure that I can still hit my revenue goals and my targets for the month. So that's the difference between the two. Today, we are having a heavy focus on outbound. So before we get into it, let me just mention the two different tools that you are going to need to follow along with this video. Now, the first one is, of course, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, one of my favorite tools that I speak about a lot. Now, if you don't have Sales Navigator, don't worry. It looks a little bit pricey initially at $80 per month, but I have an, an exclusive free two month trial link for Sales Navigator. You can't even find it on the LinkedIn website. I am affiliated with LinkedIn using this link. So I do get a little bit of a kickback, but you are saving $160. So it's completely up to you if you wanna use it or not. Um, I will leave it down below in the description. So two months free, test it out, see if it works well for you. If it doesn't, you can always cancel before the subscription automatically renews. So there's no pressure for it, but I would say get it. Try it out with this method that I'm gonna teach you today. See what the return is. And I'm pretty sure that if you're getting a lot of you, like a client for a lot of you is gonna be worth a lot more than $80. So I don't think it's gonna be much of like a thing to think about. It's gonna be a, a no brainer. So I'll leave the link in the description. The second tool is gonna to be something that I use called Wizard, which is a Chrome extension. Now, this video is actually in collaboration with Wizard. before you panic. Don't worry, I wouldn't promote anything that I hadn't tried out myself. As you know, if you've been following me for a while, this is my first recommendation in terms of product and collaboration because I've had a lot of companies approach me. I know I have a pretty small channel, but it's quite niche. And there are a lot of softwares and Chrome extensions and stuff out there for people like you and my audience. So I have said no to everything else in the past. This one, the reason I said yes, I basically spoke to the founder. I was like, let me try it out. 
Let me see if it works. And then if it works, then I can recommend it to my subscribers. And the tool is super straightforward to use. It integrates with everything else that I use. So it kind of slotted into my marketing strategy perfectly. And it's really cheap. So Wizard is essentially a email scraping Chrome extension. So for example, if I build a lead list inside Sales Navigator, I can then run Wizard on this list. It will go and find me all the email addresses, whether they're work emails or personal emails. It will verify them. So I'll make sure that they're actually legitimate functioning emails, which does two things. Firstly, it makes sure that you're not as likely to be marked as spam. And secondly, it's going to reduce your bounce rate because your emails are going to get delivered. I'm actually going to speak about cold slash warm emailing in another video. Comment down below if you do want me to speak about that because that kind of goes on from like a part two of this video. Um, but that's what Wizard is. Who is it for? Probably most of you watching this channel is for anybody who needs to collect information to add people to a mailing list, to send out an offer. If you want to do multiple um, touch points with prospects, which is what I recommend, not just spamming people on LinkedIn, actually using different mediums to get in front of that person and make them aware of your brand or your service. Um, so yeah, it's basically for all of you guys. You can get started for free. You can export the first 20 emails for free. And then after that, it charges you a flat rate of 15 cents. That's the pay as you go plan. And there are like paid monthly plans where you just pay a certain amount and you get a certain amount of credits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into Sales Navigator now and show you Something that I would recommend as a strategy if you're first starting out. Um, yeah, I'll show you probably like the best way that I would say to get started if you're doing like an email integration with this from the emails that you're getting or maybe like warm calling. So let's jump onto my laptop and we'll get started. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to export your first connections on LinkedIn. Because if you've seen, you used to be able to export a CSV of all your first connections with their email addresses and everything else combined, but because of like data protection that has changed. So another way of doing it is through using this tool. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna make the list a little bit smaller, um, just so it takes less time, so I can actually show you exactly how it works, but it's gonna be the same principles um, for however large the list is that you're doing. Let me just open the wizard as well, so I can show you how this works. Okay, so you can see like a couple lists that I've done already. I've already synced them with my CRM. Um, so what I'm gonna do is basically to find your first connections, it's pretty straightforward. And I'm then gonna narrow down my first connections and we're gonna pretend that this is actually something that I do. So first connections, I'm gonna make a smaller group out of all my first connections who are relevant to what I wanna send them. For, so for example, if I want to send out my free seven day LinkedIn crash course to my first connections who are in the marketing and advertising space. All I need to do is go on relationship, first three connections, and you'll see I've got over 3,500 results. And then I'm gonna go industry, marketing and advertising. Make sure that profile language is in English. And then let's say I wanna go for companies which are sized 11 to 50. And in their title, they have the words, um, let's have a think. Let's go CEO, founder, co-founder. And then let's say seniority level owner. Okay, I'm just trying to make this smaller the cause of this. Let's say geography just to make this even smaller as well. Let's go London. All my London friends. Okay. So 123 results. So we basically got a bunch of people that are based in London who are my first degree connections, who are within the marketing and advertising industry and are owners, founders, CEOs of companies which have employee headcounts of between 11 to 50 people. Now, the reason that I'm doing first connections is because this is going to be a lot easier for you to get responses, especially if you're sending out something which is free and of value, which is what I would recommend if you're first like, emailing these people. What I would do is basically send these people an email and say, hey, um, obviously we're connected on LinkedIn. I'm not sure if you're already a member of it, but I've got over a thousand members inside my free seven day LinkedIn crash course. In case you haven't seen it, I um, wanted to send you an email and just ask if you want me to send you over the link or not. I probably wouldn't put the link directly inside the email um, just because that's more likely that your email um, 
your email sender is going to think that you're trying to spam people because you're sending links. So it's more likely going to be delivered to more people if I don't put any links inside the email. So I'll probably be like, hey, would you like me to send it over to you? Don't want to be a pest. Obviously, let me know if you don't want me to reach out again. And then always have the unsubscribe button in case they don't want you to reach out to them <laughs> just so they can opt out of getting messages from you. Because it's, it's so annoying when people send you emails. There's no unsubscribe and you have to respond to them to get them to stop. Otherwise, you just get chains of promotion and it's just really annoying. So don't be that person. Um, so this is what I would do. And then as you can see here, I basically added this extension on. So all you'd need to do, if you go on incognito, wizard, um, let's go on create an account. All you need to do is you add in your name, company name, email, password, you log in. Let's just do this for the sake of it. Um, I'll just show you how it works. So pay as you go, these are the other two plans. And then what we would do, it's gonna show you around um, how this works. All you do is install the extension. Let's go off here. Okay, so install extension. You go onto Chrome, um, you add this to Chrome, and then you'll basically have this come up automatically when you go on sales navigator and then the next thing that you want to do is go on to setup and then connect to crm so i use hubspot so you can connect to whichever crm you have so salesforce outreach io hubspot um, and then also they do have a plan on here where you can use and send emails directly from within wizard as well so if you don't have um, an email platform or a crm then you can always do that within here as well let me make this a lot smaller. Okay, let's go for people that have been active on LinkedIn. Let's do it with this actually. Okay, so London, m and I know this is a little bit weird how I do this. m and 11 to 50. Let's go for first connections there. And then owners. And then active. And then let me show you full enrichment. So find emails and enrich with over 30 data points. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, let's say that I just want to do 20 for the sake of this. So what you can do here is acceptable emails, work or personal or generic. I don't really want generic. So work or personal emails require this data. Um, this is fine. Okay, start now. And then it basically just runs. You can either leave the screen while it works, just don't close down Sales Nav or Wizard, and then it will go and find those emails. And then from that list, you can either export them as a CSV file, and you can also export them to your CRM as well. Okay, so as you can see, it has just finished. So what I can do now is I can either download this as a CSV file, or I can sync it to my CRM. So I'm gonna show you both. Um, also, just to mention the stats here, so it's shown risky and then no email. So two people have come as having like a risky email to send stuff to. One email was not found for somebody, but the 17 emails that are valid, Wizard will only charge you for the valid emails. So if, for example, you do a scrape of 100 people and 10 of those emails are risky or not valid or not found, you're not gonna get charged for them, so you only get charged for valid emails. So what I can do is I can download this as a CSV. So let's take a look at this. Okay, cool. So you can see that we have the email type in this column, the email of everyone, full names, the title, the company, their LinkedIn URL, so if you click on that, it takes you to their profile. Um, the company page for their LinkedIn, so the company over here. And then we also have the domain, so their company website has been scraped, so it goes and gets the website as well. Um, let's take a look at this. So the image, company size, when the company was founded, if it knows that information. The industry, which should be pretty much M&A, like marketing and advertising, sorry. Um, company location, I mean, you get the gist of all of this. Like, there's so much. Any Twitter handles, um, obviously they're LinkedIn again. Gender, and then skills. So all the skills that they have listed down. Any interests, so groups and stuff that they're a part of over here. Um, and then let's go over here. So phone numbers, 
Wizard will scrape phone numbers at a rate of, I think, around 20 to 30%. It is getting better. Um, but for any phone numbers that I scrape, I will actually warm call those people. I can do a different video on warm calling as well. If you do want that video, I can show you maybe like how I actually call them, what I say, like do like a live warm calling session. That could be quite a good video. So let me know down below again, if you want that video. Um, Twitter, Facebook, we've got all this. If they have an angel list. Location, yeah, okay. So everything, we basically have a lot of information in the CSV. So let's have a look and click sync. So let me just connect this by logging in again. Uh, this. So I'm just gonna sync this to HubSpot. So it's just synced to my CRM. And then all you need to do is go on contacts. And then I literally have everything automatically put into this. So I can do this by create date. So today, for example, this guy, I can click on him and then I can add in any notes, see where he is in the sales cycle, do all of the stuff from my CRM. So basically Wizzer is kind of like, I use it as a third party, like a middleman between LinkedIn and CRM because a lot of people think that they need to spend, this is kind of bad against HubSpot, um, but it is around $500 to get the account with HubSpot, which will allow you to integrate with Sales Navigator directly. This is a way around that. This is why I actually started using this tool and started recommending it to clients because I had a lot of people ask me, my clients, like what's the best way for me to get email addresses and get data from LinkedIn, from Sales Nav, into my CRM without spending loads of money. And using a Chrome extension has been the biggest time and money saver and it's been the smoothest process and it gives you a lot more information than I would find if I was going to do it even manually or directly just from sales nav. Um, so that's kind of how I use Wizza. I There are a bunch of different ways that I do this. Thinking of so many good I video ideas right now, um, but I could do another video on all the different kinds of sales navigator searches I do for emailing. So cold emailing, um, if it's new prospects, I don't know, but what I would recommend doing is having two touch points on LinkedIn directly. And then the third touch point, either be a warm call or an email. And at that third point, it's no longer really cold outreach, it's warm. So the response rate is more is most likely gonna be a lot higher than if it's just cold spamming people, especially if you're sending something which is highly valuable. So that is how I use Wizard. This is how I use Sales Navigator properly in terms of finding people, extracting that information, making them aware of me, and then getting that conversation going, getting it rolling, and then using that to basically convert. So a lot of you may have heard that like the more touch points you have, then the more likely someone is to close. And there's like average amount of touch points that you need to have depending on your industry and your service at what you're selling, price point, all that stuff. What I like to do is use LinkedIn, Sales Nav, couple touch points on there, bring them into my ecosystem so they see my content, they see my social proof, and then use Wizard, extract that information, track them inside a CRM like HubSpot or whatever else you have connected, and then update that contact with individual information of where they are, whether they've responded, and basically use that just to track their progress throughout my funnel from stranger to paying client. Now, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave the link to sign up to Wizza down below in the description. So make sure you get Sales Nav, free trial, Wizza first 20 emails for free. You can get a free version of HubSpot as well. So this is all very like low cost for you guys. So if you are on a budget, this is an amazing way to go forwards. Even a lot of my high paying clients, which have the budget to do more, use this as well. So it still works very well for anybody. Let me know if you enjoyed this video down in the comments below. Let me know if you have any video requests or recommendations, questions that you have for me. I always like to answer and hear back from you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you have hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon.